something and then I what did I say? I didn't say anything to you. All right, let's bring it back, said, but guys. But it had something to do with friend zoning. It had something to do with friend zoning, and I said, "Yeah, you're right. You're shorter than me, so we probably would be friends." There oh, we go. yeah, that's it right there. That, exactly, exactly. Yeah, that's it. You admitted it. Are, is that? A, are you upset about it? No, well, you're not upset about, about it. it. But no, he's not upset about it. But it seems like you're upset about him choosing white girls. No, I'm not upset about that at all. Oh, I just okay. think it's funny. You don't think it's funny. Why is it funny though? It's not. It's not. Why is it funny? It's his preference. What's funny is only that he. That he picked the one off screen. I mean, I <laughs> but we didn't say didn't that you not choosing a shorter guy is funny. Huh? We just let that go. Like when me not choosing a shorter guy. Yeah, like you said that. Oh, he's shorter anyway. Like he wouldn't qualify for you. Yes, so we didn't think that, that was funny. We thought that was like regular. He laughed. Yeah, yeah, I wasn't offended but, by but it. But not actually. Like he didn't even bring it up until you brought up him choosing white girls. You see yes, how he like did. he already did before. No, I did no he only brought it up after you made fun of him about choosing white girls. Yeah, but I don't understand. It. I don't even understand why there is a comparison. Well, it is a comparison because they're both preferences. Uh, so it seems like he shamed. I understand how they're both preferences. Let me finish real quick. It seems like he shamed for having his preferences. Okay. And his preferences is white. Well, let me finish. Okay. Let, let me, me finish. Shame. His preferences. He like white chicks. Okay. Right. Yeah. Your preferences. And you don't want short guys, right? Uh huh. And he didn't shame you for your preferences. But you shamed him for his preferences. I don't think that's shaming. I think that's just pointing out a fact. Okay, and it is a fact that he liked them white chicks. Yes, that's a fact. That's a fact. That's not. I do. That's not, that's I not, like white girls. So I don't think but it's. I don't. I didn't. You did shame try it. to shame him. I you said like, oh well, it. why not us and the right. white girls? Like, exactly. what's that about? I was not. No, I didn't. Oh my god. You did. Yes, you it's did. okay, guys. Yes, you guys just ganging up on the me. Chat no, it's okay. too. The chat said you in your feelings. You it's okay. Fine. I'm fine. It's not a big deal. Let's move on. Let's move on. Just. Grant it to you. Let's say that it's real, that you truly are a virgin, right? I would say that <laughs> sorry. for you sorry, being a virgin, I, I could prove it to you. I got you. Look, I would say this for you being a virgin and having sexual temperance, that is very respectable. It is. I but the fact that you're 34 years old and you're still a virgin and you're unmarried and you haven't found anyone to commit to you and someone that you want the commitments from from that isn't respectable because the reason why it's not respectable is because you only got 80 percent of your eggs are already gone 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 so you say that you hold it on to your value but your value and you are holding on it from a sexual standpoint yes you're a virgin no one clap cheeks that's good right i'm not trying to promote for you to have your cheeks clap no keep it unclapped <laughs> 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 no applause right the not respectable part is that you should have found the man and you should be, and you believe in, you're Catholic, as you said, you know that you're put on this planet to procreate and to be by a man's side and you know that a woman's place is by a man's side. You know these things. Why are you pretending like I'm unmarried by choice? You're, so you're saying that you're unmarried not by choice? Yeah, I would love more than anything to have already been married and have five kids. Got you. Well, that's the thing. So something must be missing. So, um, I don't know. I don't think it's me. But, and, and it kind of goes like this. Here's some game, right? Because I like to give ladies game when these conversations get a little bit touchy. You're picky. Granted, I know you're picky. Uh, Obviously, you don't want guys as 5'8". <laughs> yeah. But right. I know that you're picky because you haven't had sex yet, which is good. That means that your morals is high. You have great qualities about your character. Rory, you got kudos to you. So here's some games to you, right? So women, what they do is they advertise themselves to attract qualified mates to them, right? So the fact that you want a relationship and you want marriage with a man, but you haven't found a man that you would want a relationship from means that you're not attracting the men that you truly want and desire. Make sense? Or you say that, yeah. Yeah. So I'm saying that you want to look at it from that standpoint because men pitch themselves. If the woman can't advertise herself in a way to attract the men that she wants. So that means that you got to work on self, right? So what would you suggest? One first suggestion, like what she does, she said that she's a bodybuilder. She's always in the gym. First thing you got to get in the gym because from a man's point of view, beauty is your most valuable agency I will say attractiveness when it comes is not my problem well i'll t i'll tell you the part about being attractive is just not that's not my issue i'm not saying that well i'm just saying that that you know i've never had a problem with uh you know someone telling me well if you looked this way then i would be more attracted to you 
I'm not saying that. I'll break it down in a way where you could truly understand. Let's just spoke, speak about men first. We're not born with any sexual value. We have zero sexual value when we're born. Just like she said, she broke up with her guy because, yeah, he was maybe cute, but he was inadequate. He didn't have any motivation or ambition, so he wasn't really making money. He had none of that that manly, you know, oomph in him. So she was like, ah, yeah, I got rid of him. <laughs> super young. So yeah. even at that super young age, women still they look know, for a certain right. things. They know. It's embedded in you. It's in your nature. <laughs> You want a man that's doing better than you, like the four things you said. <clears throat> so if a, since a man is born without any sexual value, he has to go out there and create his sexual value. It's up to a woman. She's born with her sexual value. It's up to her to preserve her sexual value. Now, you preserve your sexual value as far as not having sex. But as far as preserving your sexual value, as far as what are men attracted to sexually? Well, we're attracted to women that are fully in shape. We like the coat figure, small waist, wide hips, or if it ain't small waist, if it ain't wide hips, it's just like some type of curvature there, but it needs to be thin and healthy. That's what men are generally attracted to. Supermodels, thinner women, they get more options. More thicker women, they get less options. And you got to think about it. The thicker the woman is, she's getting less options. Well, why is she getting less options though too? I, I, you're trying to say that a person, it's not completely just based on an initial attraction or it's like i get what you're saying to mm -hmm. a certain degree but also you can't put all your eggs in that basket because that's not really that's, that's not, the only basket you have yes but but i've like i've, it, but, I've yeah, well, let me repeat dates, that again look right? so look it's not the only basket i, I, I have I, i'll repeat it again <laughs> it truly not. is look the only matters, that's the only basket yeah. that matters to men so men we have a lot of boxes that we can elevate in because women are attracted to a multitude of things you like him tall strong masculine dominant assertive you like him uh, uh good looking <coughs> smelling good dress nice dress nice being able to convey himself and hold the conversation and make mm -hmm. you feel the vibes so a man can he's not uh, doesn't meet the height requirement well he can elevate by going to the gym getting a better physical structure he can elevate by talking to more girls and building up that confidence and learning learning ways to convey himself to a woman to make her feel all bubbly and giggly but that's because women are complex creatures because they are attracted to so many things which makes it which means that we can upgrade on many different things but what are men attracted to looks. only your looks only your looks so that means that that's your only basket that's the only elevation you probably never heard the truth but this podcast no fugazi so we got to keep it real so i'm telling you please just take it i'm just telling you this if you work on that you will attract mm -hmm. more mates now it may not of course there's going to be more mates and it may be guys that you really don't want but still it's going to be more you'll have different guys to then choose from and it may be the guy of your dreams I, I just i can't i can't get on that train because you're trying well to if you don't want to get on that train i'm not telling you anything yes you, you look fine you're 34 years old you're light skin you got long hair i'm sure guys are attracted to you physically but i'm but telling you, you but that's you, the though. only thing you can elevate that's the only thing you can elevate mm -hmm. right, give me a second oh it's okay do you want a hug take your time it's fine free hugs no he's just he's basically just telling you that can in a, in a man's you? eyes, in a man's eyes, You're your value is tied to that, your beauty. I have no value because I'm not her size. No, I he's not tell saying you that. That. Yeah, no. that is exactly what you're saying. That's exactly what you're saying because you're trying to say that I'm not, a, I can't, I can't attract the right man because I'm not small enough. No, he's saying what he's saying. That's exactly what he's saying. He's saying. I could tell her what I'm saying. Let, no, let me just tell you. Said. Let said, me just tell you what I'm saying. I would let her explain it for my point looks are view. everything, right? So they're the only thing that matters, right? That isn't what I said. They're the thing that matters matters first look, and foremost. That isn't what I said for men, but, right? But but that would that, that isn't. Right. I'm speaking specifically <coughs> to a certain thing, right? So I said that women advertise themselves. Women don't normally walk up to men to uh, lots uh -huh. of men and approach them you don't you don't walk up to every guy you see that's attractive and approach them the man and not only that you would respect it more if a man would approach you so men approach and women advertise themselves so from that standpoint since you're not meeting certain guys right so, I should so let me finish since you're not attracting certain guys that meets your qualifications that you would want to even have them guys get down on one knee to marry you if you're not meeting those guys that means that you need to change something about yourself that's what i'm saying right so one thing that i need to change you're saying is just to lose weight i'm saying the one thing you need to change 
is to lose weight and to get in a gym and you will become more attractive to more men. It's it's, it's, it's based be, off of beauty. But that's never been an Yeah, issue but for big me. is still beautiful. But it, I've what never, I'm telling you, it is. Not for a lot of men. Not for a lot listen, of men. This is, this I, don't, is I, don't, I, don't, I don't want a man who's only going to judge me based on, how, based on my size. That's it's the way God is. Can I, can I, is. Can I, can I, I say something? We don't something? want a man. Look, we don't look. You just caught him short. We don't want a woman that's only gonna base us based off our height. I'm six yeah. foot four. He's five eight. But you but said I that he's disqualified because he's five but eight. I didn't judge his character. But okay, but you judge his height and he doesn't qualify for you. Okay, but that's not. Saying, and we're saying, but, but look, look, time out. The same way he doesn't qualify for you, <laughs> with your figure, a lot of guys you won't qualify for. And that's what you have to realize. But me as a person, I'm not gonna qualify for a lot of guys because. Because that's life. You as can, a can person, you're great. You're, you if, let's just me. say you're yeah, a virgin. No, let's just say you're a virgin. And let's just grant it to you. Names. No, we didn't call you any names. No, I didn't call you any names. names. No, can, can I, can I didn't I call you any names. And real quick, yeah. you as a person, you have, let's just say you're a virgin. Let's say I believe it. You have sexual I temperance. I, why would I lie you about have, that? That makes, that means that you have all these characteristic traits in you that is very good. You're very, you're a person of high moral character. That's beautiful. What's on the inside is beautiful, but remember, you advertise yourself in men approach. So you want to, you want to display a beautiful outside. Just how beautiful you are on the inside, you want to display the outside. I'm not saying that you're not beautiful. I'm just saying that you can elevate yourself more. T, I don't work out, but you know what? I should work out. Why? Because I'm at that premenopausal stage in my life where I can gain weight. So taking care of myself physically will not only help me physically, emotionally, and mentally, mm -hmm. right? 100%. So it's not yes. that putting you down. It's I'm uplifting you. what you want no, to that's I not am. A, not uplifting hey, at all. I, I got to be honest. The truth is uplifting. You did it, but you, you did it wrong. It. That's not the truth. Because as women, they're emotional. Okay. Men are logical. Uh, no, we got It's how he said it. Yeah. It's a so, delivery, right? Yes, but, me, not, it, but not <coughs> even. It's, okay. it's, oh, sure. it, women obviously are emotional and it's men are... Pretend not to be, but, but we're emotional. Correct. That's what I'm That's saying. What you said pretend we're just to less be. neurotic, meaning that we feel less negative emotions than women. I know you just pretend not. Bree, she got it. Bree. That's what I was like my my. Yeah, he wasn't whatever. putting it down, girlfriend. No, no, no but like yeah, so, so, no, he was. He was. He I'll was. speak he was for myself. I wasn't. Um, well, one, uh, when it comes to you know how things are said and what is said, you're a woman of faith. Obviously, you're a virgin. You're a 34 virgin. When Jesus, you believe in Jesus. When Jesus was here, when Jesus came to earth and he was speaking to people and delivering people from evil and saving people and doing all of these miracles, did he curve the way he said something? No. No. no let me finish. Let me finish. Evidence. Let me finish. Jesus spoke the truth and sometimes the truth, people can't handle the truth. Sometimes the truth hurts. So I'm just speaking the truth to you. It doesn't matter if I coddle. If I try to coddle it. No it maybe won't it, it won't make a change. No one said coddle, but there's there's things prudence. You feel that I'm coming at you a certain way because you know that it's truthful. It, but that doesn't that doesn't no. It has to be true if you got emotional from it. I'm upset because because you know it's the truth. No, I'm not perfect. And yes, I can get better in certain areas. Okay, okay. Can, and I so, can't deny that. However, uh -huh. I don't. I think that more percentage of the pro of the a more a larger percentage of the time, uh -huh. I'm not the problem. Okay, well, I think and that a lot is of it the has problem. To do with, no, no, it has to do with you know my situation. You know, a lot of men just don't. They don't. They don't want to wait. Let me right. ask you a question. Exactly, and that's the. Problem. Let me ask you a question. Is that, is that like, and that's why I'm, that's why I took such offense into what you, what you said because it's not. It's sure I can get better, but they don't want to wait. Yeah. Let me, what I'm saying. How can you take offense to someone that is telling you that you can elevate in certain areas? Because you could have said that. I literally said that. I said there's many different like, men, wait, and I broke it down. I said men has to elevate. He's five eight, so that means that he's got muscles. He had to get in the gym, or he would have been a skinny five eight dude. That was, he wouldn't get no cheeks. But that no was. Cheeks. But that was. <laughs> but, but no, listen, that's what I'm saying. That was. That, that was. <laughs> ten, that was already ten minutes of discussion. I, I, no, that did. I had to talk about men first before I even spoke about women, because I never. I spoke about women in general. Then I spoke about you specifically. But when I spoke about men, so you can understand that we all have to elevate, right? But it just so happens to be that men were simple creatures. We kind of only. We fall in love with our eyes, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. Women fall in love with their ears so a man can display other characters. He could elevate in other areas just because you're complex creatures. You like so many different things in guys, but we only like really one thing in a woman. That's when it comes looks. to 
attract attraction. That's looks. So I'm saying that I'm looking at you and I'm saying, you know what? You could hit the gym. Can I say something? That's a positive thing. What would you say to that man that's in his mom's basement, 34 years old, with no job, playing video games, and eating cereal? No car, no license. Say, would you say that that man has to self-improve in a lot of areas? Yeah. Got it. Now look at you. 34-year-old virgin, never been married, never, never met a man that you even wanted to marry. That's not true. You met the man that you wanted to marry, but he didn't get up, get on one knee. So that means that you couldn't lock the man down even when you met him. So that means that, well, we I don't look think at that it. That has anything to do with me. Listen, we look at it. Men, women grant sex, men grant relationships. If the man didn't grant you the relationship from the only man that you wanted, well, that means that you need to improve on something. <coughs> that's, that's I just, I, I just. Don't you have to take accountability. I, I take accountability. But you're but not. You're running I'm, from the accountability. No, I'm not. I'm not running from the accountability. Okay. Well, I'm I just wanted that, to say. I'm, try, I'm trying to say that that. Every situation is not the same. But just like you would see that 34-year-old man that's a virgin living in his mom's basement but claiming but he wants a bad chick. one area of my life. Well, that's the area he's, that he's, men he's, are attracted he's to. Bro he's broke. <laughs> he doesn't have a job. He's we don't care. Men don't basement. care about a... Like, that's a I know, but listen. Situation. Women don't... Men don't care about women's money. Men don't care about women's competence. Men don't care about women's money. We don't care about women's competence. We don't care about women's height. We don't care about all the things that you care about in a man. Attraction isn't symmetrical. It's asymmetrical. So you became the man that you want. You got a d good job. You're doing things and all these type of things. Talk. But you became the man that you want. So all these other guys that you're meeting, they don't qualify for you. But the only guy that did meet your standards, guess what? You didn't qualify for him. So we're just saying that you can elevate on the beauty aspect because we're simple. We want cheeks. We want the waist to be blickety blow. That's just what we want. <laughs> well, I just wanted to say that you um, I, I, I really wasn't <laughs> offended. Like, you got to understand, I'm a black man, so I get judged every day. Because I'm black with tattoos, they think I'm dumb. I had girls say, oh, you're cute for a black guy. Oh, you're short. I'm sorry, if you were six foot and up, then I hit all. But like, I'm confident in myself. And, I, and what I do understand is everybody has a type. And I know that I'm not everybody's type. And I'm okay with that because yeah. I've met so many women that I'm everything they want you know what i'm saying and i'm pretty sure you're gonna there's guys that will accept you just the way you are but most guys like women fit you light skin with the long hair if you had the body you'll be fine taryn you good you coming back on or are you gonna leave yeah i just need to not look like this okay got you um no worries take your time just want to finish this topic real quick chat just pay attention to what just transpired it's funny because before the podcast started you was here the last time someone cried yeah and you said that i hope no one cries this time and then you even said that i don't think anyone is going to cry i said nah probably will who knows when a conversation gets going and it's funny how these two young ladies you're 19 how old are you 23 23 you were you lost 30 pounds 50 50 pounds. i used to be 186 i'm now that's, less than 140 that's, that's amazing, amazing. Mm -hmm. right and like you said two, that you were years. on a journey as well yeah. You went from somewhere and then you lost weight. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And you confirmed that one, most most importantly, I felt better about myself. Right. Well, secondly, is I feel health the thing is I'm healthier, truthfully. And then the third thing is I was able to attract more quality men. And that's exactly what I told her. But she couldn't understand that. And you two are prime examples of it. Like you literally switched some things up in your life, started working out, and things went better for you. Me speaking to the fool in her would have been you just as good as you are. Those guys are the problem. But I spoke to the queen in her and I said, listen, you could do much better than where you are at now. You can rise up to another level. And that's one of the things is increasing your beauty by going to the gym and losing some weight. So I'm speaking to the queen in her because I want her to be better. But the thing is, in this world, it's socially unacceptable for men to speak to the queen and a woman. If we speak in a truth to a woman, it's looked at, oh, you're being negative. You're speaking down yeah. on me. You're shaming me. It's okay. And a bunch of other things, right? So it's crazy how she was speaking <laughs> down on him, right? And we ain't say nothing about it. We kind of let nothing. that go until nothing. she got mad and was like, oh, okay. Oh, you only choosing the white girls? And then we like, wait, wait. You disqualify him because he's 5'8". What's going on with you, mama? <laughs>